What's up guys, it's Captain Weight Loss. Uh, today I'm going to film Cap Captain's Orders Episode 2. Uh, this one's about struggles and roadblocks. Uh, I actually tried to film this on Friday. And then uh, I tried to upload it while I was at work on Friday. And I got home and I had to leave quick. And uh, I had it set to publish after it uploaded. And something happened during the upload and it never got done. But uh, I was... It works out really that it didn't upload. Uh, this is a really good time for me personally to film this struggles and roadblocks video. Uh, my grandmother actually passed away on Friday. The, it was a couple hours after I had filmed this the first time. And uh, I was gone all weekend. That's why I didn't film this on a Saturday. I actually just got home a few minutes ago. And uh, that's just a, one of the, I'm going to talk about struggles first, and there's a lot of different things. And uh, like, like I just mentioned, uh, at my house, like family gatherings, at my grandparents' house, I should say, sorry. But uh, there was so much food there that everybody was bringing to support the family and stuff. And... Uh, that's just one of the struggles. You can't eat any of that. You're going through an emotional time, but you still have to stick to the plan even going through that and show your commitment to your plan. And uh, that's just one thing. And then, uh, like while I was there, you have to have the commitment with your plan and your food. I uh, actually packed a cooler and I had my Slim Fast high protein shakes for breakfast both mornings I put those in the cooler and uh, had my meal bars I put those in there and then I had my supper for um, last night I brought that with me also so I had that and that's kind of a nuisance being able like having to pack a cooler to be able to take your stuff with you just so you don't have to worry about moving it from fridge to fridge and stuff like that but that's just one small thing that you have to do. And in the grand scheme of things, that's not really that big of a deal to be able to stick to your goals and stick to your plan. And uh, another thing, uh, I talked about the first time I filmed it, that like uh, Tuesday when I had to go over there uh, from Paris, Illinois to Centralia, Illinois, it's about a two-hour drive if you guys don't know. But when I was driving back on the interstate and stuff like that, all you see is billboards with fast food on them. And it's really hard, especially when it's later than you normally eat. And you see a billboard of McDonald's. It's so easy to stop at McDonald's and eat. But just kind of go through the discomfort and fight the urge for just a little bit until you get home. And if you have your meal waiting for you at home, just say it's not going to be that long you can make it and you'll be able to and then another thing i was going to talk about with like the gatherings uh last thursday i think it was we had a uh, going away party for one of my co-workers ex-co-workers now but uh we rented out like a restaurant that had a buffet and stuff and i was actually the only one that didn't eat out of like i don't know like 35 people or something like that and it's kind of uncomfortable in a restaurant whenever you only get a glass of water and everybody's eating around you. But you get used to it. Like, it's hard the first couple times. And then the next time, people will be like, you're not getting anything. And you just kind of have to politely say, my food's waiting for me back at home. Or my food's waiting for me at work if it's a work-related thing. And... If people really support you, they're, they're not going to push the subject, so it goes away pretty quickly. And uh, I wanted to uh, say this statement that I was actually talking to one of my buddies over around my grandparents' house. And uh, we were talking, he's lost weight in the past, and uh, we were talking about strategies for losing weight and stuff like that. And I came up, I said this quote to him and I wanted to include it in the video. And it's that weight loss is simple, but it's not easy. And uh, I, 
I think I'm going to start kind of whenever I'm talking to people, incorporate that statement more often because once you stick to your plan that you've made, it is simple, but it's not easy to stick to the plan. It's It sounds a lot easier than it is. But uh, the next thing I was going to talk about was roadblocks. And uh, what I have down here on my notes in front of me, if you see me keep looking down, I was looking at my notes. But uh, if you have a health emergency yourself, like say you're eating healthy and, and working out a lot, and if you have like a something with with a heart condition or something like that or you hurt uh, if you break a bone or hurt any kind of leg or arm injury um it's definitely more important to stick to your diet than it is to exercise especially in the beginning of your weight loss journey because like 90 percent of weight loss especially in the beginning is your diet and if you continue that even with not working out, you're still going to find success. It might not be as quick, but you, you will still find success. So if a roadblock pops up, just uh, figure out in your mind, strategize against the roadblock and find a way that you can bypass it until you get past it all the way and then continue to eat healthy and exercise whenever you're medically able to. And, uh, like I said, uh, this was supposed to go up Friday. The upload didn't go well. But uh, I appreciate you guys for clicking on it and checking it out. I really like making these Captain's Orders videos. Just to kind of give a little bit of my take on stuff that pops up during your weight loss journey. Uh, my next one will be... I think I'll be able to actually do it on Saturday, this next one. So uh, look forward to that. Uh, tomorrow I should be making a video that's kind of my views on uh, CrossFit, CrossFit exercising versus like lifting and bodybuilding and kind of the differences and which one you should sort of lean towards depending on the goals you have for yourself. And uh, I'm sure I got another recipe video. I think that'll be a, let's see, Monday, Tuesday. I think Wednesday, Wednesday I should have a recipe video for you guys. And then uh, my weigh-in is in 13 days and I'm feeling pretty pretty confident, sort of nervous, but I think that's always going to be a thing. But uh, hopefully that goes well. I'm still trying to get down to 280 for that one. I haven't weighed myself since I was 304, March 18th. But uh, if you guys are watching this video and haven't subscribed to my channel please do that I appreciate the subscribers uh, like this video if you have any questions or comments you can put them in the comment section I'll get to those as soon as I can and I'm gonna try to upload this right after I film it hopefully it goes good this time thank you guys for watching